exactly like solving a regular equation. The difference is we're dealing with inequalities rather than equal signs. But for the most part, we treat it exactly the same. I'm going to go through a couple of examples on the board initially, and they're just going to make us aware of a little trick that we need to. There's one difference that we have to be aware of, and it should pop up at some point. So, this one here, what's the, what's the strategy? What's the approach I should use? Get x by itself. I want to get x by itself, correct? And how do I do that? Is it a strategy or a process I follow, Gracie? Um, reverse bomb Reverse bomb ass and opposite operations, correct? So, what's the first thing I want to take, Mikey? Um, Take away 4. Yeah, I want to give it that 4, so I subtract 4 from both sides. So there's nothing different at this stage about the way we go about it. So I've now, get, now I've got 6x. 6x is greater than or equal to 12. What's stopping the x from being by itself, Jay? What's stopping the x from being by itself? On the left hand side here, what's 6? 6, how do I get rid of it? You take it away. Yeah, divide it very good. So I divide both sides by 6 and I'm left with x is greater than or equal to 2. On my number line, I'll just set up some numbers. And which way am I going? To the right. Colour in or not colour in? Very good. I'll check that in a second, but does that make sense? Well, let's just shove a value in. What's a value I could shove in? Pick a number that I could check with. Well, is negative 1 greater than 2? Oh, um, three. 3. So let's start 3 in. 3 times 6 is? 18. Plus 4? 22. Is 22 bigger than 16? Yes. So that holds up. I've just checked all good. And normally if I was checking in the exam, would I do it like that or would I show? show I'm actually add the work you to show that I've checked my answer. For the next one, same approach, right? So what should I attack first? What are the two things stopping the X from being by itself? Give me one of the value, what's one of the things stopping the X from being by itself? Two. Two? And what's that doing to the what's that negative doing? What's that really? Negative what? Negative 1 times x, correct? So I've got a multiplication and an addition. What should I attack first? Thank you, Susanna. If I was doing bomb dust, then I'm doing reverse bomb dust. So addition, how do I do an addition? Take away. So I minus 2 from both sides, correct? Happy with that? Yes. So now I've got negative x is greater than 2. Now at this point in time, I want you to think about a value of x that could work. Okay, so what is the value of x that could work here? The things they've got a, a solution. Yeah? 3. 3. Is negative 3 greater than 2? No. So what do you what do you mean? You mean not 3 but? Negative. Negative 3. Because negative, negative 3 is positive 3, correct? So negative 3 would work. Anyone got another solution that might work? Well what's negative 1 times negative 3? So is it positive 3 greater than 2? So does that work out? Does negative 4 work? Yes. Does 1 work? No. Does 5 work? Yes. Negative 5 is greater than 2? Yes. What well, negative 5 is? Negative, negative 5 is. But not 5 by itself, correct? Make sense? I'm just building this picture up because you're about to see something when we do our next step. How do I get rid of a negative 1? Times. What's the opposite of that? Divide by negative 1. So I divide both sides by negative 1. The negatives now cancel. I'm left with x is greater than negative 2. So give me a number that's greater than negative 2. 1. We knew you said 1 didn't work. It does now. There's a, a, a trick here. What's the trick? I can fix one thing up to make this work. I can still keep all my working. I need to rub one thing out and fix it up and I'll fix it. It'll make my work perfect. So what numbers did you say before? You said negative three, negative four, negative five. What are all those numbers relative to negative two? 
Are they bigger or smaller? Smaller. smaller. So what do I need to change? And I'll move some red. What should I see? That's the change. So when does the change come about? In what type? Because I didn't do it in the first one, did I? So what was different about the first and the second? Not the answer. What did I do to the negative? Be careful when dividing or multiplying by negative numbers. So what do I do if I divide or multiply by negative? With inequalities, what's the trick? I have to change the sign. Okay, let's have a look at the last one. First step, what do I have to attack? What's well, stopping the extra being by itself? I might do it over here because I'm running out of room, so I'm just going to do it up here. What did I not do for question B, by the way? I missed something. I didn't do my number line, but I'm assuming we can do that on our own. So I need to do what to get it. Mikey, what's missing? Sorry? Something's missing in this problem. You don't know? You knew yesterday? It's in brackets. Okay, how do I get rid of that negative 3 now? Oh, no. Times both sides by negative three. Because the negative three is dividing. Isn't it? The yeah. extra. What happens to the negative three is Eliza. They cancel each other out. And I'm left with four X. Do I need the brackets anymore? So I've now got four X plus ten. Is less than negative 18. Correct? Yes. You have to change the side. Very right, good, Jed. What do I not do? I've divided by, I've multiplied by a negative number, correct? Oh, I'm onto it. He's onto it. Now it's exactly the same. Okay? So now what do I do to that, that problem there? What's the next step and answer? Take 10. 4x is greater than negative 28. Last step, Tenzin. Divide by 4. x is greater than negative 7. Clear? So what's the takeaway? What's the takeaway? What's different about solving inequalities? Is there much different? It's pretty much the same, there's just one little difference. What is that? We change the sign when we're dealing with multiplication or division of negatives. Only multiplication, division of negatives. We'll talk about squares later, but that'll work for now.